Now let's find the derivative of this. Uh, to find the derivative of uh, this uh, trigonometric function, you might be uh, watching it is uh, completely looking like quotient formula. We need to use your quotient rule uh, because it is in the u over v form. But uh, I, I just want to suggest you do not do with this method. Yeah, you'll get the perfect answer. It will be very lengthy because you know you need to deal with uh, first uh, your numerator and then you need to deal with the denominator and it's going to be very lengthy. So it is better to solve this first and then get the smaller value and then find out the derivative of this. Uh, and you can use any any rule uh, as the uh, as the question is requiring at that moment according to the situation. Use any in any rule, right? So let's let's try to solve first that. Right. Let me suppose the fun uh, our function y is uh, y equals to cos 2x plus 1 divided by sine 2x. Now, you know, uh, if it was cos 2x over sine 2x, I, I can easily write 10x, but here is plus 1. So I'm thinking to remove this plus 1. To remove this plus 1, I have to use the formula of cos 2x in a very, very appropriate manner. So what is the formula of cos 2x? We have three formula of cos 2x. One is uh, 2 cos square x minus 1 another is cos square x minus sine square x and another is 1 minus 2 sine square x now we need to cancel this plus 1 everybody can easily judge now that which formula we should use we should use definitely this one because it is minus 1 and when I'm gonna put the value of cos 2x then minus minus 1 and this one will cancel up alright so let's use that formula so in the place of this cos 2x, I'm going to write this 2 cos square x minus 1, all right? So it is 2 cos square x minus 1, and then again plus 1, and then divided by sine 2x. What is the formula to uh, sine 2x? It is 2 times sine x times cos x. And now you can cancel many things. Minus 1 and plus 1 will cancel up. This 2 and this 2 will cancel up. And this square and this cos will cancel up, and you'll get... Uh, cos x over sine x. All right, so now your function is going to be y equals to cos x over sine x, that is cot x. See how simple it becomes. Now use uh, any any rule, and there is no way to uh, to use your rule. Just directly you can write what is the derivative of cot x, right? So before that you need to differentiate both sides with respect to x. So differentiating with respect to x both sides. dy over the dx is going to be derivative of cortex over dx angle and angle matching it means it is minus cosec square x that's our answer